Hey everyone, Tio here. It has been a while since I made any urban sketching video and today I'm out sketching with my friends. In this video, I'm going to give you some tips to urban sketching and these tips are for the absolute beginners. The first tip is to mind your surrounding. Safety is very important so when you're crossing the street, when you're walking around, look for cars, look for hazard. You don't want to get injured when you are out sketching. So I'm actually filming this video today with my phone walking around uh, trying to make sure that I don't get in the way of any vehicles. Today I'm sketching at this place called Emerald Hill and along this street there are many beautiful houses and these shop houses are very detailed and there on the left side you see my friend Tony Tony is walking around looking for a good place to sketch so my second tip to you is to always walk around first to look for good spots to sketch preferably under the shade because you don't want to get sunburn don't just settle down at the first place you see because oftentimes you can actually find better places to draw and better compositions or better scenes Urban sketching is very fun and exciting but it can be quite overwhelming for beginners so if you want to feel more comfortable, if you want to feel less overwhelmed I highly recommend you go sketch with your friends especially from the Urban Sketches group there are many urban sketches chapters around the world. I'm pretty sure you will be able to find some friends who enjoy urban sketching. When you're walking around the neighborhood, you may discover interesting things. When you're in a new neighborhood, everything will look new to you. When you're in an old neighborhood, you begin to see things with your new eyes, your urban sketcher eyes. I have not seen Ronald here before, it seems like he has moved in. Picking a quiet and shady spot to sketch will make your urban sketching experience so much more pleasant. These chairs belong to the businesses. If you want to sit on them, I would highly recommend you ask the business owner. Or if these are cafes, you can actually just buy a drink and sit outside to draw. These are actually fantastic spots to draw from because they are against the wall which is to say that you won't have people standing behind you looking at you sketch. Earlier on I mentioned not settling at the first spot you see to sketch. Let me explain a bit more. So if you take a look at this building, it's beautiful. You can sketch the front of the building but if you actually walk around, you can see more information regarding this building. You can see the side profile of the building. So now you get to see the front as well as the side and you can see there are windows on the side. There are no gates, no doors on the side. But this view actually blocks the door that's behind the trees. But at least we still see the gate in front so we know where's the front of the house. It would be great to check the weather report before you head out as well. Make sure you bring your water bottle because it can be quite hot. Here's another pair of stone lions. I didn't realize there are so many stone lions in front of the shop houses. This looks very sketchable. So you can draw from the front or the back. Here's another lion. This is a small one. Here's another one and this one looks very stylized. Actually, all the lions look very stylized. So I'm back at the starting point and Tony has already started. So he's drawing this scene. The other guy there at the left side, that's Paul. So it looks like we only have three sketches today. Anyway, this is a very nice scene to draw because we have shop houses which are very old and we have those uh, shopping centers and apartments behind which are brand new. So this is a nice contrast of new and old. But this scene is 
very vertical, so I don't have a vertical sketchbook, so I will try to draw something wider. Let's see uh, what Tony is drawing. Don't feel like you have to rush while you are drawing because if you rush, you may make more mistakes. So this can happen quite often. People standing behind you, looking at what you are drawing and taking photos as well. After a while, you'll get used to this. If there are tourists walking past you, you can be sure they will stop and look at you and what you are doing. This is Paul, veteran urban sketcher with more than 10 years of experience. What's this on your neck? My cooling fan. Oh, is it effective? Of course, it, it, it works very well. My next tip for you is not to bring too many tools and supplies out because you may not use all of them. And also if you carry all these items out, it can be quite heavy and tire you out quite quickly. So what I usually bring are my clips, my watercolor sketchbook, watercolor box, my fountain pen with waterproof ink, a portable brush, white gel pen, a bottle of water and a portable stool. A portable stool is very useful because it allows you to sit anywhere you like and bring a hat as well. So I'm going to join my friends at that location to sketch. Sketching with your friends is way more fun than sketching alone because you can chat, you can check out each other's art supplies and see what they have drawn. Looking at all these tourists reminds me of another tip that I have for you. If you don't want you have people looking at your sketch. Try to pick a location where there aren't so many people, so many pedestrians or tourists. And we have a few more sketches who joined. That's Dorothy and Sharon. showing me his new chair which is just 25 Singapore dollars outside that's the brand of the chair <laughs> that's the website the website is outsidesstore.co okay so here you can see me drawing straight with ink for beginners I would actually recommend you use pencils to block out the composition to make sure that you have enough space to draw everything that you want and make your mistakes with pencils first because making mistakes with pencils is better than making mistakes with your pen. When you are creating your preliminary sketch or your draft with a pencil, you can also identify problematic or challenging areas that you need to pay more attention to later when you are inking. It would be great to take many photographs while we are out on location because you can use the photographs for more practice at home and in case the weather changes while you are sketching or if you have to leave the scene for whatever reason before you finish your sketch, you can still work on your sketch with the help of your photographs at home. So this is me doing the final touch up, adding some details with watercolor and the white gel pen earlier. So this is my completed sketch. I probably took one to one and a half hours to draw this. Today is a very hot day so the watercolor was able to dry really quickly which allowed me to paint very fast. So this is my usual pen, ink and watercolor style. I will write the name of the place and the date later. This reminds me of another tip that I have for you for urban sketching. Use a limited color palette, don't use too many colors. So the colors that I've used here are basil yellow, transparent pyro orange, raw sienna, burnt sienna, cobalt blue tape, and phthalo blue. So just these six colors. 
And with these six colors, I was able to mix all the colors that you see here. If you use too many colors, um, it's difficult to achieve color harmony and it's also difficult to manage so many colors. So I highly recommend you use a limited color palette. The style here is very sketchy. If I had more time, I can actually draw this scene a bit neater, but I'm usually rushing for time when I'm sketching, so my style has developed into something that looks very sketchy over the years. So Paul, what tips do you have for the absolute beginners to urban sketching? Ask yourself what is the story that you want to tell and repeat the story in your head a few times so that you don't get lost. So that's my big tip for those who are sketching on location for the first time. For beginners who want to draw something as detailed as this scene, what advice would you give them? Uh, break it down, don't draw the whole thing, maybe just draw a small part of this complex scene um, so that you gain confidence over time. Then you can slowly tackle more and more complex uh, subjects. Sharon, how long have you been urban sketching? About four years. So what tips do you have for beginners? Uh, I think for me it would be just just enjoy, don't feel that you have to compete with any other sketcher and just do what um, you know, you're happy to do. How do you feel during your first outdoor sketching trip? Oh. Or sketching session? First sketching session. Quite nervous because yeah, too many things to set up and then you are looking around and you feel that everybody is, is you know, so professional. <laughs> yes. So I think um, since then have tried to moderate my expectations of myself and just enjoy the process. I think that works a lot better for me. And that actually reminds me of another tip. Don't compare yourself with other sketches because it's pointless. Everyone has their own style. Another tip that I have for you to make urban sketching more manageable is to practice your drawing techniques at home before you head out because once you're outdoors, it's quite overwhelming. The weather can be hot, there can be people standing behind you, you're just looking at your subject and you don't know how to start. So to avoid all that, do practice a lot at home before you head out. So that's pretty much all the tips I can think of for you for the absolute urban sketcher beginner. If you want to learn more about sketching, urban sketching, using watercolor, do check out the free tutorials that I have on my YouTube channel. And do consider supporting me on Patreon to support my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I hope this video is useful. See you guys again. Bye. I'm Sarka. Nice Sarka. Yeah. Are you from Italy? No, I live there. I only went to Turkey once ago. Oh, that's one of Paul's fans. So just go to Facebook and join the group or just follow Instagram uh, USA as you Okay, great. Yeah, I'll do that. The of you. Okay. Yeah, but we do go out with me as well. Oh, thank you for what? Bye. Bye.